my favorite type of cardio is sprint training. Nothing quite kills you the same way a good track session does. But because I haven't run in so long, and because I have a history of shin splints, I need to be really gradual in reintroducing my ground reaction forces. So the next best option is bike, but not just any bike. Today's workout is gonna take a total of seven minutes. First, you're gonna roll your three quarter quad. Now, ideally you do a full foam roll, but today's all about removing the barriers to starting your sprints. So Now it's time to jump on the bike. The Kaiser has an inbuilt timer on its display, but if your bike doesn't, just use an iPhone or a tablet to barter timer. Um, I'll link my favorite in the description. Super easy, most of them are free. Start with a 60 second warm up at around about 75% intensity. And now it's time to go. 20 seconds of 100% all out effort. For this to work, it has to be maximum. While I'm doing my sprints out there, I'm gonna list off as many benefits that high intensity intervals have over traditional cardio. It doesn't interfere with your speed and power development, improved anaerobic threshold, better mimics sports specific fitness demands, more time efficient improvements to your VO2 max, accelerates and upregulates your glycolytic enzyme rates, improves your mental toughness under fatigue, improves your body's ability to buffer metabolites. And then 40 seconds rest. Round two. 20 on 40 off isn't the only way to skin the conditioning cap. 30 rounds of eight seconds on, 12 seconds off. Eight rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Four rounds of 30 seconds on, four minutes 30 off. It doesn't matter what you do. If you're an athlete, mimicking your work to rest ratios in sport is probably your best option. If fat loss is your goal, doing it first thing in the morning fasted is probably your best bet. Last round. With intervals, it's not so much about the energy burnt during the session, but setting your body up for a hormonal and enzymatic cascade, which has a flow on effect throughout the day. Helping you burn fat, boosting your metabolism. Kind of like how weights do, but only you get the aerobic and anaerobic fitness benefits as well. Once your legs have stopped burning, it's a good idea to stretch your rec femme as well.